Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube. I'm here on a very, very hot day uh, in Queensland, Australia. We're reaching up to 36 today. So I know that 38 is uh, 100 in, um, I think we're in Fahrenheit, aren't we, or Celsius, I'm not. I'm not sure which is Fahrenheit or Celsius, whatever it is. I'm sure somebody will let me know, but it's a very, very warm day. Um, it's very, very humid. So having a little bit of trouble with my paints of late, um, really sort of not being able to dry properly. The humidity is getting underneath the paint and keeping it wet and in some instances making it crack. So not happy, Jen, but you know, there's one thing we can't control is the weather. So let's get down to this piece of art. I reusing a canvas that I previously painted on. Didn't like, scraped, starting again. So yes, you can definitely do that. So covering the back with my <coughs> phalo blue, and I'm going to literally completely puddle pour this whole round canvas. This is, I think it was a 35, 30.5 centimeter round, which is uh, 12 inches, I think, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna completely puddle pour it in these colors that I have, and I am just loving, loving these colors. This is called sand, this color, but I did mix a little bit of the um, sparkly, I can't, iridescent paint in it. To give it that sparkle so it becomes like a metallic so here we go sit back relax and i will just jump in and let you know um when i'm doing it anything to create something different i'm on my way This is um, going to be the minimalist pour because there's very few colors on there. As I said, it was that sand color. And then it was, um, it's not phalo blue, I can't. It's another blue. I, I can't remember the blue that I used. Um, and then some metallic copper. And then this on top is the cell activator, which is just what I have pre-made up in that little container. And it's Amsterdam black with Australian flow troll. So I am literally going to use my straw on this particular one and blow every one of those puddles out. So wish me luck, um, deep breath and let's go. got my stainless steel straw and it's got that silicon bendy end which so you can put the whole lot in the dishwasher you can 
soak it you know reuse it over and over again so definitely in an environmental friendly straw this one so you can have uh, just keep reusing it now bear with me when you see all these blowouts because they do take me a lot of time and I do at one point get a bit lightheaded with all that blowing uh, it's a wonder I never planted face down in my <laughs> painting I would have had a really nice coloured face when the paramedics come to pick me up off the floor but anyway <laughs> I survived I'm here to tell the talk the Tory the story the story I'm here to tell the story so I just absolutely love this with completely filling this canvas with these uh, blowout puddles uh, and I certainly want to do it in a different color have a go it's so rewarding so much fun and especially if you've got lots of poof <laughs> lots of breath to blow these things out because um yeah it's a bit tedious but the results are beautiful so bear with me bear with me effort but I am super duper happy with that it's beautiful so now I want to go along with my a smaller balloon for the centers so I can it'll put like a nice petal effect in the center using that little balloon in there and then yes with the leftovers I will pop it on a canvas well it isn't a canvas actually that was a black piece of artboard I believe but um, previous pour that I'd done the um, pearlescent paints, I'd done some balloon kissing on there too. So yeah, nice way to recreate another canvas. Even nicer if you've got some uh, cards, like the pieces of card that you can fold in half to make birthday greeting cards or whatever. And you can put your balloon kisses and make your own just out of the balloon kisses from canvases so it's a very nice personal touch isn't it um, I have done it in past videos and shown you what I do so maybe I might revisit that little idea again to uh, show you how I do it so yeah it's basically just going over all of those lovely uh, botanical effects from the straw blow and just finish them off with my balloon um, I'm super duper. I am just really super duper happy with this. Hope you like it, and I'd love to see if you guys give it a give it a try. So push on, and um, we will see the dry results in a, in a second or two. a quick whiz over with my heat wand and there is the balloon kisses on the other board super happy with those I'll come down and give you a close-up and a little chat to you wow I'm super super happy with that just love those minimalistic colors and what a wow love it love it love it minimalistic colors balloon blowing all this um, puddles out did make me a little light-headed but um, I think I'm in for a coffee now <laughs> um, but that was super fun doing something that I absolutely adore and really with a coat of resin that will absolutely pop your socks off so my lovelies thanks so much for joining me if you haven't already subscribed please do so and I've got over 1600 videos in my on my YouTube main YouTube channel so make sure you um, have a look at some of the beauties there and 
if you're looking to um, wanting to learn how to acrylic pour look for the beginners playlist where it's got all the mixing of your acrylic paints and so forth tips and tricks but didn't that um, metallic copper or metallic bronze I'm not sure what it is make it pop 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 oh here we go my goodness I forgot to show you that's where my balloon kisses went onto this black piece of cardboard those kisses were from the pearlescent paint on a previous pour and of course these kisses are from the one we just did so it really creates I mean another piece of art okay bye for now.